hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel make pm so in today's video we will solve a problem of gear train on based on epiclical gear train so you can see that in this diagram there are four gears one gear a gear b gear c gear t so gear b has internal teeth and others have external teeth so from here you can see that this arm will rotate and uh, gear C and D will rotate in the recess or annular space between gear A and B. So this gear C and gear D should be of same size. So let's read out the problem. Elliptical gear train is shown in figure. The number of teeth on A and B are 80 and 2200. So TA is 80, TB is 200 determine the speed of arm a we have to find a is equal to what the speed of this arm a <coughs> in two conditions okay so first of all uh, the gears are given only for a and b so we have to find number of gears in c and d also so these two gears are of same size so tc and td will be same number of teeth on c and d will be same now you can see that we know that diameter is equal to module into teeth okay so all the gears are meeting with each other so their module will be same so diameter of gear b diameter of gear b will be equal to you can see from here from here to here diameter of gear b this is diameter of gear b will be equal to sum of diameter of gear C plus diameter of gear A plus diameter of gear D okay so gear C and gear D are same so we can also write DA plus 2 DC so diameter of gear B is 2 DC plus DA so now D is empty so M into TD tb is equal to m into ta plus 2 into m into tc now m is common in all so it will be cancelled so tb tb already given 200 is equal to ta ta is 80 plus 2 tc so 2 tc will be equal to 200 minus 80 which will be equal to 120 so tc is equal to td is equal to 120 by 2 is equal to 60 so we can write tc is equal to 60 teeth this gear b uh, c and d have 60 teeth each so we have solved one part of the problem now we will draw draw a table now let's remove this now you know that for each type of uh, planetary gear or each type of gear train which has arm we have to draw a table like this if you don't know then we will draw it in this we will write actions then we will write for arm for this arm a then we will write a column for gear a then we will have a column for gear c and d because both gear are same size so we can have only one column for them now we have a column for gear b also so we have made co column for each of the gears now first condition or first action is we have to fix the arm we will fix this arm so, this, so always first column or first row will be fixed a and we will give gear 1 a revolution gear a we will uh, give one revolution in clockwise direction so a will be plus one revolution so if arm a is fixed then its speed will be zero or revolution will be zero a is given one revolution as we have written here so it will be plus one we are considering clockwise as positive and counter clockwise as negative okay so gear c and d will be rotated opposite to gear a 
and uh, you can see that from here ta or speed of gear a and a upon nc will be equal to tc upon ta so na revolution and speed are proportional to each other so na we have written one one revolution so one by nc is equal to tc upon ta so nc will be ta upon tc now ta number of teeth on a is 80 upon tc we have 60 so it will be 4 by 3 but these two are external gears so they will move in opposite direction suppose this is moving in clockwise then this will move in counterclockwise direction so it will be negative now similarly for gear b gear b and gear c are meeting so nb or we can write nc upon nb is equal to tb upon tc so we already have calculated uh, nc nc is 4 by 3 4 by 3 by nb is equal to tb is uh, 200 number of teeth are 200 on big gear and divided by tc in tc see we already calculated 60 so nb will be 4 by 3 into 60 by 200 it will be equal to 4 So this will be equal to 4 into 6 is 24 or we can divide 20 by 4 is equal to 5 and 3 we can divide 2 so it will be 2 by 5 and uh, this is internal gear so the gear c and gear b both will move in same direction so it will be plus 2 by 5 sorry it was uh, in minus c was in minus direction so b will also move in same direction so it will be minus 2 by 5 now second action will be this is our one row completed second action is a is fixed arm is again fixed and a is given plus x revolution instead of one revolution a will give x revolution now so it will be zero it will be instead of one revolution it will be minus x or plus x revolution and it will be minus 4 by 3 x everything will multiply it by x so minus 2 by 5 x now next step we will give revolution to arm a also so we will give y revolution to arm a so everything will be added by y because arm is also rotating so here arm will be y here x plus y here it will be 4 y minus 4 by 3 x here y minus 2 by 5 x okay so we have calculated everything Ab now we have to just put these values in the question which are given and we will find our answer so let's see what are the conditions given in the question you can see if a rotates at 100 rpm clockwise for for a it is given 100 clockwise so clockwise plus we have already assumed and b at 50 rpm counterclockwise okay so a is rotating as 100 rpm clockwise so rotation of a is x plus y is equal to x plus y and b at 50 rpm counterclockwise the speed of b is y minus 2 by 5 x is equal to minus 50 because it is in counterclockwise direction from here you can see that x plus y is equal to 100 so x is equal to 100 minus y so here you can write y minus in this equation y minus 2 by 5 
हंड्रेड माइनस वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस फिफ्टी ओके इफ यू सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन देन यू विल गेट y इज इक्वल टू माइनस सेवन पॉइंट वन एंड इफ यू पुट दिस वैल्यू हियर देन यू विल गेट x इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड सेवन पॉइंट वन मीन्स आर्म इज रोटेटिंग इट इज माइनस स्पीड ऑफ आर्म इज इन माइनस मीन्स इट इज रोटेटिंग इन काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन सो स्पीड ऑफ आर्म ए इज सेवन पॉइंट वन आर पी एम काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज ओके एंड इन सेकेंड कंडीशन वॉट इज द सेकेंड कंडीशन इफ ए रोटेट एट हंड्रेड आर पी एम क्लॉक वाइज बी इज स्टेशनरी सो ए रोटेट एट हंड्रेड आर पी एम सो एक्स प्लस वाई इज हंड्रेड अगेन एंड वॉट इज सेकेंड कंडीशन बी इज स्टेशनरी सो स्पीड ऑफ बी इज यू कैन वाई माइनस टू फाइव बाई एक्स वाई माइनस टू फाइव बाई एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज इट इज स्टेशनरी सो वाई इज इक्वल टू टू बाई फाइव एक्स सो फाइव वाई इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स हियर यू कैन राइट इट ये टू एक्स प्लस टू वाई इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड इफ यू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू एंड वी कैन पुट वैल्यू ऑफ टू एक्स हियर सो फाइव वाई प्लस टू वाई इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड सो सेवन वाई इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन डिवाइड वाई इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड बाई सेवन विच विल बी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट सिक्स आर पी एम इट इज इन पॉजिटिव सो आर्म विल रोटेट इन क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन एट ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट सिक्स आर पी एम I hope you understood how to solve this type of problem. If you have any doubt, then please ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to it.